Well, a top honour this morning for a moment that left us all with goosebumps. Aussie pole vaulter Nina Kennedy had cleared 4.9 metres at the World Athletics Championships in Budapest last year. Yeah, she was tied with Olympic and world champion American Katie Moon when both couldn't go over 4.95 metres. They had a quick little chat and came to an agreement that they would share the gold medal. It was a great moment. And joining us live this morning is Seven's legendary sports broadcaster, the great Bruce McAvaney. Morning, Bruce. Um, Bruce, you've, you've got the exclusive you too, reveal this morning. Uh, tell us all about your mm. hand-picked performance of the year award. This is pretty special. It is, Barrett and, and Mon. Um, it was not easy in one way because we had such a great year in Australian athletics. Six medals at the World Championships, but it came down to Nina. I mean, she was the world champ. You've just described so well about that night. They had uh, an incredible competition. It was a battle royale and they came to this great conclusion at the end. I mean, they were both spent and this is the Olympic champion up against our champion. And so Nina's now in the last two world championships has gone from third two years ago to the champion of the world along with Katie Moon. So she's one of the favourites now for the Olympic gold medal. So that became, I guess, the obvious performance of the year in 2023. Gosh, that is just so what sport is all about, isn't it? You know, what beautiful camaraderie. And you sat down for a chat with Nina as well about that gold medal with a beautiful chat. How did she feel about that day when she was reflecting? Mon's still very proud and it's still very raw. I mean, she's been such a great champion, but she's been through such a lot to get to this point. So, yeah, it was a great opportunity to go to Perth and have a chat to her. And here's a little snippet of it. Katie is just, she's such a fierce competitor and I just honestly felt honoured to share it with her. It was just the right thing to do and I have not thought about that decision since. So that respect you can feel, guys, between mm. the two of them, can't you? And, and that, that rivalry is going to be one of the highlights of the Paris Olympics. Yeah, it sure is. Macker, a great delightful. choice. Um, finally, it is going to be a huge year of sport, and we love that, don't we? Uh, we've got the Australian Athletics Championships coming up. That'll be an important milestone ahead of the Olympic Games. So who do you think we should be looking out for in that lead-up to Paris? Well, Barretts, it's exactly a month today that the summer season starts actually here in Adelaide. And then the Mori plant meet, which is the biggest in Australasia. And then we go to those Australian championships. Look, Eleanor Patterson and Nicola Olaslages are these two incredible high jumpers. Eleanor injured last year, came back and got the silver medal at the World Champs. She won the gold medal the year before. So that battle between our two high jumpers, I think they can both get on the podium. So that's one that I'm really looking forward to. Rowan Browning, um, the flying mullet. Mm -hmm. So for Rowan, there are two really big challenges this year. Can he break the 10 second barrier? Boy. I think he can. And can he become the first Australian male in over 60 years to make the Olympic 100 metre final? I think he's got a shot. Peter Bowl, we know that Peter's been through hell. He really has. Fourth in that Olympic Games in Tokyo three years ago. I know he's going to come back so strongly, Peter. He did some good things last year. I think the body and the mind are ready to really make an assault on it. And then we go to the Paralympics, which are, you know, a week and a, or three weeks after the uh, uh, Summer Olympics. Maddie De Rosario, who was such a star in Tokyo. She won the 800 metre gold medal and the marathon gold medal. Can't wait to see her do her thing. And then another Paralympian in James Turner, who used to be a basketballer, and he just does everything. He won the 800 metres in Rio, he won the 400 metres in Tokyo, and absolutely smashed them at the Paris uh, Paral um, World Championships last year. So, guys, I could go on and on, but I won't. <laughs> but that's just a little snippet <laughs> of some of the people that I'm looking forward to. Oh, Matt, you've got our hearts racing. Fantastic. You it's only you do. can. Oh, you are the guru. You bring so much humanity to your <laughs> broadcasting. Thank you so much, Bruce. Um, we can't wait to see what the, the year unfolds. Yeah. Thank you so much. A pleasure, Mon. You too, Brett. It's all the best. Good on you, Bruce. See you soon. And the Australian Athletics summer season is just a month away, as Bruce was saying. You can catch all the action. It is live on 7 Plus. It's going to be a great season, too. All right.